Well, after an epic couple of days in New York, we finally made it down to Costa Rica. We're in Central America and we have teamed up with Nomad America. It's a four wheel drive hire company down here. We've got a adventurous next couple of days in Costa Rica. This guy's done a fair bit of Central America. It's amazing, so yep. fun. But first time to Costa Rica. Yes. So the plan today is we're currently in San Jose and we're going to be heading about two and a half hours north up to La Fortuna to the volcano. And some hot springs. Hot springs calling us right now. <laughs> so this is our little setup for the next couple of days. Uh, we have a four person tent on top because uh, we're gonna sleep in a room each. Uh, there's a setup inside and I'll show you that over the next couple of days. La Fortuna, here we come. Costa Rica is situated in Central America and is known for its lush rainforests pristine beaches, massive volcanoes, and abundance of wildlife. From the capital city, which is San Jose, we drove about two and a half hours north up to the small town of La Fortuna, where the Arnell National Park and volcano is. So as it's my first time to Costa Rica, same with Sky, we were a little bit hesitant um, about the security situations for the first two nights to get us in, in the vibe. vibe of the country. We have, we're staying at the Salina. This is our little teepee. I'll go show you around inside. Adorable! Super cute. We got a little aircon thing there. Mozzie shield. I think this will do us for a couple of days. We've got two days here. So Sky has been adamant about doing yoga this whole trip. This is our little yoga studio and then it's right by a creek. Namaste! <laughs> Namaste! <laughs> Hey. Hey. Oh, we got a friend. Hello, are you coming with us? <laughs> Good morning from La Fortuna. This is where we're going today, up the Arnell Volcano. Um, then we're going to the La Fortuna Waterfall and to some hot springs. So we are actually looked, we stayed at the Salina Hostel last night. We had our little teepee, it was amazing. Um, hot showers, we're feeling refreshed. Uh, we have a plan for the next couple of days now that we feel a lot more comfortable being here and seeing everything. Um, so yeah, big day ahead, let's go. For our first day in Central America, we jumped on board a local tour bus to get our bearings. First stop was the La Fortuna Waterfall, which is just outside of the town. This is one of Costa Rica's most popular waterfalls. The La Fortuna waterfall emerges from the Fortuna River and plummets an impressive 76 metres into the plunge pool below. Now getting to the La Fortuna waterfall, it's only a 1.2 kilometre walk each way, but there are 530 steps, so it's about 10-15 minutes on the way down and 20-30, to 30, maybe even more on the way back up. Don't let those steps put you off though. At the bottom of the falls is the plunge pool and you can jump in for a very refreshing dip. So here we go. Fun fact about La Fortuna waterfall. The water here is a little bit blue green. So uh, that actually means that it comes off the volcano and has minerals in it. They don't drink it. Uh, they get their water from underground uh, water treatments here. Not water treatments, spores. Um, yeah, this just flows from the volcano. How good. They've had heaps of rain. It is rain season at the moment. Uh, I'm going to jump in for another swim. Hey, Sky, are you going in this one? No, I'm going in. Are you going in? Okay, good. It's getting ready. Whew, we made it up those 500 steps just. How about you, Miss Sky? It is hot. Hot, hot, I am sweating up a storm. Uh, on to the volcano hike now. About a 15 minute drive, we arrived at one of Costa Rica's best known tourist sites, the Arnel Volcano. 
Standing at over 1,600 metres high, it's an unavoidable presence while travelling in the area. For 400 years, it laid dormant until its last eruption in 1968. And until 2010, it was Costa Rica's most active volcano, stewing enormous amounts of lava, gas and ash on a regular basis. A massive plus about being on a tour is getting to learn off the tour guides. Our guide spoke great English and had a massive amount of knowledge about the ecosystem around the volcano. This tree was a natural insect repellent, so we were straight into all the leaves, rubbing them on our skin. It smelled like citronella. From this dirt cutaway, we also learnt that where the rocks are is where the eruptions have happened from the volcanoes over the years. It's laid dormant until the next one, lava and so on. The rains are coming! Oh my gosh, put the rain jacket on! <laughs> Okay, camera's going away. We got completely drenched coming back down the mountain, but had a warm traditional Costa Rican lunch waiting for us, Pinto, which is rice, meat and beans. Our third and final stop of the tour are the hot springs surrounding La Fortuna. As part of the tour, we were treated to some volcanic clay face masks and we jumped in. Embracing the culture doll. As the town is built at the base of an active volcano, the volcano geothermally heats the river, which has now created dozens of natural hot springs through La Fortuna. The thermal pools can range in temperature from about 32 to 41 degrees Celsius. Volcanic lava is said to be a rich source of minerals such as silicon, oxygen, magnesium, and iron, all essential minerals for soft and radiant skin. When ground down into extremely light powder, lava becomes an effective exfoliant. Okay, we're on. So we're in the car on the move today. Uh, we are heading out to the coastline finally. Uh, we've spent two days in at the Salina at La Fortuna. Yesterday we did the tour as you would have seen. We felt like we could have done that ourselves, but we just wanted to get our bearings right. As you can see, beautiful Arnel Volcano is very clear today. Um, lots to do around the area, but we feel like it's time to move on. We are heading up north and we're going to Rio Celeste Waterfalls today, which we're doing by ourselves. No tours. So this is my first time driving on the right hand side of the road. Uh, Costa Rica, we've noticed, is very slow moving. So just be in no rush to go anywhere if you are coming over here and driving. Uh, it's very unlike New York that we just, um, everyone's so busy to get somewhere. It's very chilled and relaxed. So just taking our time, stuck behind a truck, it's all right, we're on holiday time. All of the street signs were in Spanish, but the shapes are very similar to what we have here in Australia, so the general understanding was there. Our first stop of the day is hidden in the Tenerio Volcano National Park. The entrance fee into Rio Celeste Waterfalls for international visitors is $12 per person, and this is paid at the entrance. And if you travel to the region by car, make sure you carry some cash with you because you'll need to pay for parking on top of your entrance fee. The parking is paid in the parking lot, which is $2. So we've just entered into the National Park here. It's all part of the di diversity of the uh, Tenereo volcano. Um, Rio Celeste hike is uh, 1.5 down? Yes. 1.5 up, so 3Ks. <laughs> oh gosh, you're on holiday mode, cutting through maths. Um, but you can see a lot of ant eaters, tropical birds. Uh, not so many sloths through here, unfortunately, but hopefully somewhere else we can see some sloths. What happened, Sky? An iguana or a lizard or I don't know what it is. But it scared me. Oh, <laughs> to preserve the park's ecosystem, it has a strict quota on how many people can be in the park at one time. They cap it at 400 people. It's best to go in the morning to avoid crowds and the humidity. The last guests of the day are allowed in until 2 p.m. Have you ever seen water that is bluer than blue? For so long, Rio Celeste Waterfall was one of Costa Rica's best kept secrets. 
It is an amazing natural wonder when the waterfall plunges into the crystal clear and incredibly blue pool below. To get the best view of the waterfall, you need to walk down the steep steps. It can be quite difficult and slippery in parts and even more challenging to climb back up, but nothing the average fit traveler could not do. On our way back to the car, we were greeted by some friendly locals, the white known or Cody's. They are one of Costa Rica's 200 mammal species and is commonly mistaken for a raccoon. Quick snack, mm. hitting the road again. The standard of roads in Costa Rica are so different to the US or European countries. There are a few signs, guardrails, shoulders, and no street lights. They're only in the populated areas. So I'm pretty sure we're at the Alonas de Cortez waterfall. Uh, it was, on Google Maps, there were two places. The second one looked a bit shonky. We did go down there, locked the doors, turned around, came back, there was an official sign uh, 400 um, colonas to get in, which is roughly, I think, about um, $8 Australian, something like that. One, two, and then a third waterfall just behind there. As we were traveling in peak wet season, these falls were close to swimming and looked a bit muddy, not so inviting, uh, but normally you can swim in here. When we left the falls, we decided to continue our drive down to Tamarindo. I was doing most of the driving of the trip, but battling a really bad sinus infection. This day, I started to get a bit of vertigo, so Sky took over the wheel. Sky would say she is a very anxious driver, but she handled the roads and the car like a pro. Hi, you made it here in one piece, taking the charge, because I am not feeling too well. Um, we booked into Tamarindo Hostel and are just going to have a very chill early night because I'm a bit under the weather. <laughs> um, so yeah, just gonna take it easy. Then make a plan, head up the coast, start camping from tomorrow night. So I'm sorry you guys if you're expecting something crazy at the moment. I am just not feeling well. Okay, we've spent three nights in hostels. Sky isn't an avid camper. She's not as wild as me. So we've compromised. Uh, we felt a bit settled, gotten used to the streets, the culture of the culture shock mm, of being yes. in Central America. Yes. Um, we are ready to go check out our first possible beach camping. We've come to the agreement that if we don't feel safe, we won't camp there. So we're just gonna go check it out. We've been recommended by Nomad has been amazing, recommended lots of places for us to go. Um, so yeah, we're going up to Playa Mindet, Minas. Playa Mindet or Zalap Zalaputo. That one. That could be so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it starts with Z, it starts with Z. So we're currently in Tamarindo. We spent the night here. It's very westernized. Um, we were walking in the streets at night time and going to all the shops, uh, great nightlife, karaoke. Um, yeah, recommend coming back here. What is going on? There is usually a single paved road that leads into popular towns, but the rural roads are just dirt and mud, which is why it's highly recommended to have a four-wheel drive, especially in the wet season. This was a local road going from Tamarindo out to the coast of Playa Mindes. We were really lucky as there wasn't a whole lot of rain in this area and the mud was quite compact. We did get out to check a couple of the deeper holes with the stick and we were fine to get through.
this is definitely the spot to come. Uh, Playa Minos, beautiful. We found, we got told by a local there's a little walking track up here. Uh, so we're gonna go check that out. We've been laying in the sun for a little while. Absolutely loving it. Beautiful, clean beach. No one coming up and asking you for massages and coconuts. <laughs> Enjoying it. Definitely recommend putting this on your list. Utensils, shovels, uh, machete, everything we could possibly need. And then we've got our little uh, ice esky. So we've just got a day or two's worth of food in here. Um, and we're going to see how the ice goes. Let's get some lunch. Something I love about traveling is trying new food. So we got to try some rambutan, which is native to Indonesia and Southeast Asia. It's like a lychee, but not as sweet. It's name, Rambutan, literally means hairy fruit. Uh, so we're just gonna set up the rooftops uh, before the rain hits in this afternoon. Uh, got an early start tomorrow. We're gonna get up before the sunrise and hopefully get on a boat charter out snorkeling for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed part one of our Costa Rica adventure. Part two is coming very soon. But in the meantime, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite part of this vlog was. Uh, like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you on the next adventure.